You know, growing up in a preacher's home in the 70s and 80s wasn't very easy. It seemed like the church at that time was very much about pastors, like giving everything to the church and kind of the family kind of just followed along and dealt with it. I do remember um, very vividly knowing that I was a sinner at four and praying for Jesus to save me and then getting off my knees and calling the pastor to tell him that I had accepted Jesus. It was simple and, and precious, but it was also like, I think I formed an idea of God as just always good. We got married here and the carpet was orange and there were some really lovely pews, but um, that was almost 29 years ago. Everything was going great. Farming was good, kids were great. Um, we were feeling pretty comfortable and then I got pregnant. And then when Karis was born, um, I knew, I think I knew before, but at birth I knew something was wrong. She turned a year old, and at a year old she um, wasn't crawling, uh, wasn't babbling, wasn't sitting up. Well, I guess she was sitting up a little bit, but she wasn't doing things that a one-year-old would do. And so I took her to the doctor and I said, what would you do if this were your child? And so we did all these tests, and that's where we found Angelman syndrome. And I remember sitting there hearing her say, she's never gonna talk, she's not gonna walk, she's, she's not gonna ever be on her own. She's gonna have severe mental and physical disabilities. I feel like I walked into the doctor's office a certain way, a certain person, and I walked out differently. And we came to Heartland when Karis was two, and we'd been driving to Aurora for 14 years to church. Mark and I were talking, and he thought we should come back to Heartland, and we prayed about it, and, um, and we decided that we would come back. At that point, I was pretty, I was still very deep in my anger. But I felt here at Heartland, I felt that it was okay. It was okay to be hurting. It was okay to sit back there and cry through sermons. I feel like when I step outside the car and I put Karis in her wheelchair and we walk to the front door, that whoever is standing there that day to meet Karis loves her and me. And they love me enough to let me worship I had no idea that God was going to use her the way he has. God's plan is so much better than what I could ever come up with. And I can say now that, 15 years later, <laughs> that God truly is good. Heartland's full of people that love in a hands-on way. I don't know how you tell people thank you for making your life possible. But I feel like, I feel like we, Heartland's opened the doors for the marginalized and the, the weak. I wouldn't want to be a part of anything else.